I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Generals. Today is Tuesday, March 1st. Here at Shiloh Middle School, we are all inspired, invested, and involved. I am Anaya, and I will be your SMS anchor for today. All Shiloh Generals exude pride every day. We are prepared. We have all our supplies and utensils. We are respectful. We show kindness to our teachers, peers, and everybody else around us. We have integrity. We are making good choices when no one is around. We are disciplined. We have self-control under any circumstances. And last but certainly not least, we are engaged. We are focused no matter what is going on around us. Students, don't forget that you are required to pass five out of six subjects each semester for seventh and eighth grade promotion. Language arts and mathematics must be two of the five subjects passed. Please be sure to have official Shiloh Middle School Hall Pass when visiting the Media Center. And don't forget our Read Across the Genre Book Report Contest, where genre is highlighted every month. The genre for this month is autobiography. An autobiography is a self-written account of one's life. Please stop by the Media Center to check out one of our auto autobiography books. Secure a book report form. Place your completed form in the blue basket located in the Media Center to be automatically eligible to win a prize. The autobiography highlight for this week is forwarded by Abby Wambach. Abby Wambach has always pushed the limits of what is possible. Named by the ma magazine as one of the most influential people of 2015, the iconic soccer player captured the nation's heart when she led her team to the, its recent World Cup. Championship. Admire for her fearlessness and passion. Abby is vocal advocate for women's rights and equal opportunity, pushing to translate the success of her to the and her team to real world. She has become a heavily requested speaker to a wide range of audiences, from college students to executives at Fortune 500 companies. Stop by the media center to check out one of this title today. A special thank you to those who came out to support our Black History Month extravaganza yesterday. As Black History Month has come to an end, let's kick off the celebration of Women's History Month and celebrate women not only in history, but women everywhere. In honor of Read Across America Day, please donate any gently used children books to the Media Center. All donations will go to at least one local daycare. Students, stay connected with all the happenings at Shiloh Middle. All announcements and subjects are subject to change. Please check our e-class page daily to up for up-to-date announcements as well as our calendar on our website. The weather for today will be a high of 67 and a low of 40 degrees and a 6% chance of precipitation. The lunch for today is Gwinnett's Best Burger, Halal Burgers, Three Bean Chili, and PB&J. The fun fact for today is Atlanta has the most traffic in the United States. The quote for today is, kindness begins with the understanding we all struggle. Please stop, please stay by, please stay tuned for a special video presentation. Have a terrific Tuesday and general salute. Good morning, Shiloh General Sister Proud Principal Dr. Howard here. We just wrapped up a wonderful, wonderful Black History Month and sealed it up with our Black History Extravaganza. Now we move into Women's History Month the month of March. Women are powerful. Girls, you are powerful and you will be powerful women. I want to read for you something from Phyllis Wheatley. She was a former slave, but she was also a poet. She said, "'Twas mercy brought me from my pagan land, taught my benighted soul to understand that there's a God that there's a savior too. Once our redemption neither sought nor knew. Some view our sable race with scornful eye. Their color is a diabolic dye. Remember Christians, Negroes, back as Cain, may be refined and join that angelic train. Although she was an enslaved person, Phyllis Wheatley Peters was one of the best known poets in pre 19th century America. Educated and enslaved in the household of prominent Boston commercialist John Wheatley, lionized in New England and England, with presses in both places publishing her poems, and paraded before the New Republic's political leadership and the old empire's aristocracy, Wheatley was the abolitionist, illustrative testimony that blacks could be both artistic and intellectual, because we are. 
Her name was a household word among literate colonists and her achievements a catalyst for the fledgling anti-slavery movement. I want you to think about that. As a woman of color, not only did she parade herself as a intellectual black woman, she actually was. She didn't have to be told that, she actually was. Ladies, I want you to think about that as you walk along your path today and the rest of your lives. You are a strong woman, whether black, blue, purple, or brown. I need you to think about that. You are amazing in your own way. You are uniquely beautiful. You are aristocracy in your way and the Shiloh General's method. Shallow Generals, I want you to be reminded of some things about our behavior. I've said over and over and over again that being a Shallow General comes with Shiloh pride and showing your Shiloh excellence by modeling it every single day. We don't walk into Shiloh acting as if we have no sense because we do. We're proud people. You must show your Shiloh pride on a daily basis by not engaging in fights, by not engaging in arguments, because that is not modeling excellence on a daily basis. Remember, if you do, if you do fight at Shiloh, you will, you will go to a tribunal. We do not accept anything less than excellence. Excellence is Shiloh. Shiloh is excellence. Model excellence every single day. Women, boys, girls, everyone, celebrate this History Month and show your power. Show the women in your lives that they are powerful women. Be powerful. Model excellence. And with that, I love you. Shallow Generals, salute.